midterm exam. With this exam, essentially you're going to uh, create what looks like a medicine bottle. Not with all the details such as you might see, um, for example, threads, nothing like that, but just the basics. Uh, in the sheet that you're, you'll be given, you'll get actually a, a sh short list of instructions. You'll see you're going to model a bottle, you're going to model a cap, you're going to assemble the bottle and the cap, and then you're going to recreate a medicine bottle assembly drawing. And the drawings should be included in here. It's a total of four pages. Three of them are the drawings. And this is the last image that you have to create here of this. Now here you could actually see the goal is to create this drawing. I should say recreate it and then print it out and hand it in. So let's begin. These are all the parts that you'll be building. So we'll begin off by starting with the bottle itself. If you look at the print that is given to you, the bottle is pretty simple. It's just a two inches high and it's a two inch diameter. It has a neck that's one and a half inches in diameter and a half inch high and then some hundred thousandths radiuses and it's shelled out. So to begin with that, we just go to new, standard eye part, double click create 2D sketch. And in this case, for the bottle, you'll want to draw it like on a tabletop. So select the top plane here. Take your circle tool and draw in a circle and it will be two inches in diameter. Once you have the circle drawn at two inches in diameter, go to 3D model, extrude it, and with the extrude function here, you could just type in a distance. In this case, it needs to be 2.5 inches high. I'm going to go ahead and just go to the view and under visual style, enhance the view a little bit so I can see the edges a bit better on the screen. Now, the next thing we're going to do, we just go ahead and select this face right here, and we can start a sketch on it. This next diameter is for the neck of the bottle, and it's going to be 1.5. Now remember, I'm typing them in before I click the second time. If you miss that, you just go to dimension and add the dimension in manually. And now with this, I could go to 3D model, extrude, select the profile I want to extrude, and just set it to 0.5 for a half inch. Now I could go ahead and under 3D model, I go to the fillet tool, and I just put my fillets in. If I want, I could, uh, in this case, they're going to be 0.1, and I could just select the three edges. Do not select this top edge. Avoid that. But these three should be selected, and hit OK. Finally, we just go to the shell command, and set the shell to 0.1, and select the top to be removed so it's open and hit the green check mark. It should be hollowed out. Now that it's hollowed out, just save it. And I'm going to save this as the bottle to my desktop. You will not need to save these files after you're finished. It's not a bad idea to keep them up before I grade them, uh, or while I grade them, just in case I have any questions or anything like that. But after you're finished and you get your grade, you could delete delete the mo models. Okay, now for the next model, I'm just go to New, Standard Eye Part, and again, I'm going to go ahead and just draw on the top plane. This first diameter, according to the print, is going to be 1.9 in diameter. And if we're looking at the drawing here, we're on to the second drawing, and you can see that we have some dimensions. I'm going with the largest one that's right here, which is 1.9. Then there's a, going to be uh, an extrusion of 100 thousandths thick, and then we put a fillet of 100 thousandths on it. Then after that, we could go ahead and build the second diameter, which is 1.8. And then that gets extruded out a half inch. And then we go ahead and draw a third diameter on top of that, 
and it's gonna be one and a half inch in diameter, and that's for the neck to fit in. And this is just a, a cut extrude. Don't try and shell this one. It doesn't work right if you try and shell it, because there's varying thicknesses here. So now I just go to 3D model, extrude, and point one. I would recommend going to the fillet tool and putting that in immediately, just so you can tell which side is which. In this case, this is going to be the top of the cap. All right, the next thing you want to do here is we just go ahead and select this face and start a sketch. I rotated it around to the underside, just so you know. And I go to circle, and the next diameter is 1.8. And now I could go to 3D model, extrude, and this gets extruded 0.5. Now make sure you select the profile. Then we could select this face, the bottom of that, and start a sketch. And this is the one and a half inch diameter circle that we draw. And I'm just going to go ahead and go to extrude, select the profile. I'm going to set it to point 0.4, and I'm going to reverse it. Actually, I could just click on this little button right here, which is cut, and it will pop in. It should remove the material. If not, actually, I might have to actually flip it. There we go. I didn't see the preview update properly, so make sure you hit direction 2. And hit OK. Again, just so you can see the edges, in this case, it might be very helpful to go to View. In your visual style, feel free to turn on Shaded with Edges. Like you can also turn on Shadows and Reflection Effects if you prefer. Now we're going to go ahead and select this face of the ledge that we see there and start a mm -hmm. sketch on it. And at the top, draw a circle, and it needs to be 0.1 in diameter. And I drew it right at the quadrant there. It's not critical that it's a quadrant, but it's a good idea. And now from there, what we're going to do is we're going to create the first rib. So we can extrude that, 3D model, extrude, select the profile, reverse it so it's extruding up, and instead of distance, select two next so it knows to go up to the surface and stop. The preview might indicate that it's going beyond the fillet, but it will stop before it goes past that surface, so you could go ahead and just leave it at that. And make sure actually it's set, well actually if you see that, be careful, it might be set to cut. Make sure it's set to join, and to next, and hit OK. Now we could go back to 3D model, and find above pattern, we want circular pattern. Select it. First select the feature. Then select the rotation axis. And from here you could increase this number to 50 instances. Leave it at 360 degrees and hit OK. Cap is now complete. Make sure you save it. Call it Cap 2. Now that we have those both saved, we could create the assembly. Go up to the iPro button and select New Assembly. Now, what we're going to do is go over here to Place Component. And we're able to search for the components that we want to insert. In this case, I left them on the desktop so it would be easy to find, and I could see the actual bottle 2 and the cap 2. My suggestion is go with the bottle first. Hit Open, and then it should position it automatically. And at that point, you can hit Escape, because we don't need to add a second bottle instance in there. Now we could go ahead and add the cap. So go back to Placement. Locate on your, if it's on your desktop, locate the cap. Open it up. 
and just position it somewhere above the bottle, maybe to the right a little bit. And then hit escape again. Now we could find constraint. Click on constraint. And in this case, we'll select this bottom surface of the cap. And I'm going to rotate, and I want to stick that to this top surface of the neck of the bottle. Hit apply. Now the next constraint is going to be between this face, and if you want, you can actually select the center line in the middle. And that's a concentric relationship. Hit apply, and then cancel out after you hit apply. Let's save the assembly. I'm just going to call it Med Bottle. Save it on my desktop as well. Now before we leave here, we're going to create a drawing. But before we do that, we need to actually create an exploded view where the cap is lifted off of the top of the off the bottle for our drawing. So what you do is you go over here to create new presentation. Hit create view. Hit OK. And now you should be able to see the cap still on the bottle, but we want to tweak the components. So click on tweak. And here we could select a direction. In this case, if we click on the top of the bottle, we see the Z direction is up, so we want it to move Z and move it two inches by typing in the value and hit the green check mark. And it should launch the cap off the top of the bottle. You could hit close and just save that. It's going to want to save it as a separate presentation file, an IPN. That's fine. Just hit save and hit yes to all or hit OK. The next thing we want to do is we want to go back to the medicine bottle. Uh, actually, we want to create a drawing at this point. So since we have that saved, we can now go to the iPro new drawing. Now for the drawing, we're going to go ahead and select uh, under Drawing Resources, hit the little plus symbol, find Sheet Formats, hit the little plus symbol there, and double click on the A size to create a new document. Hit OK, and then you'll see Sheet 1 and Sheet 2. Simply right click on Sheet 1 and find Delete Sheet. You don't need that one. Now we're in Sheet 2 here, and we see that it automatically dropped in a front view of the bottle, which is not what we wanted. What we do want is actually to drop in the medicine bottle. So to get the medicine bottle, uh, make sure you delete whatever views were on there. And then we go up to base here. And through base, you might want to hit browse because there is automatically default into the medicine bottle IPN, which actually we could have created two exploded views, one in its collapsed state, one in its exploded state. I didn't do that, so I'm going to click on the little folder here to browse and make sure you go to your desktop and then scroll down until you find the medicine bottle assembly and hit open. Now it will give us a lift, list of views. In this case we want the front view and we'll move this over. And we're also going to put in the scale is going to be 1 to 2. We want hidden lines removed and then from the display options set tangent edge turn turn it on. And then go ahead and position the bottle. Just right in the middle there on the left. Click. Drag off the bottom view as well. Click. And then go ahead and hit escape. Or actually don't hit escape. I'm sorry. Right click and hit create. And now you should have the two views. From here we're going to go ahead and create a section view. Go ahead and click on section, click on the part on the front view, glide up to the bottom and wait for it to wake it up and you'll see an inference line. Give yourself a little distance, about a centimeter below the bottom of the bottle. Click and drag straight through a line and also give yourself about the equal amount of length from the top of the bottle. Click 
and then right click to continue. It should unfold another view. Just go ahead and click to drop it. And there is your section view. Now go to detail view. Click on detail view. Click two times on this corner in the upper right and drag out a circle. Click again and you'll see it's creating a view. Now for our particular purposes we don't want a jagged edge. We actually want a smooth edge. So on cutout shape click on smooth edge and then click over to the right to drop the detail view. The next view is our exploded view. And for that we have to go back to the base and we have to find and actually it defaulted to actually finding our IPN, our presentation, uh, which is the exploded version. Again make sure it's set to 1 to 2 as well as set up the hidden line removed. Double check to make sure display options has tangent edges as shown. And then in this case you'll select ISO top right and then drag it over to the right click to drop it, and then right click and hit OK. Now let's reposition some of these views, and now we could go ahead and create the bill of materials. Under annotate, the tab, we could find parts list. Select that and then click on any one of these views. Hit OK. Might give you a little message, just hit OK and then drag out and try and dock it in the upper left there, the part list. And now we could add balloons, click on balloon. There also is auto balloon, but just use the balloon tool and click on the cap, drag off the balloon, click and then right click to continue and it should drop it in. Click on bottle, click to drop it, right click, continue. Another thing that's missing on here is a center mark. There needs to be a center mark on this bottle, and so find the center mark tool, click on it, select the outer edge. <coughs> Finally, make sure you put in your name. Text, click in this box here, escape and then try and center it. And it should be done. Now we just save it. Hit OK if you get a little message. Then from here, you can print it out. You just go to the printer and drop it on the uh, LJ5200 to, uh, ATC 208. Print it out, turn it in, and you're done.